previously on Hell's Kitchen. When a gang of firemen roared into town on a charity motorcycle ride. These guys look starved. The chefs knew they had to rely on their teamwork. I know we want to be quick, but let's be perfect too. As they began a race to see which kitchen could feed their bikers first. We've lost four challenges in a row. There's nothing I won't do to win right now. Josh's frantic pace got the blue kitchen off to a sputtering start. Six chickens, six steaks all day! Stop talking, pour the drinks. But Millie managed to steady the team. We're gonna go three more chicken, three steaks. In the red kitchen, T's raw chicken. This chicken is raw. Fuck. Where's the food? And Sarah's scattered brain. Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup is right there, Sarah. Sunk the red team. Gentlemen, well done, finally. <laughs> Hell yeah, blue team, baby. Uh. The loss. <laughs> like beyond embarrassing. Was too much for Megan to take. I'm about to like fucking nominate myself so I can go the fuck home so I can stop being embarrassed. At dinner service. Two salmon, two Wellington. A determined Megan took control of Sarah. Put it over there, cause that's where the fucking heat is. Watch the fucking salt. Yes ma'am. And the rest of the red kitchen. Allison, when you need to go, you let me know, got you. It's like she's the boss and like we're her minions. Leading the women to a successful dinner service. Red team, perfectly cooked meat, perfectly cooked fish. Finishing service is like good sex. You definitely fucking needed it. I needed it. Unfortunately for the blue team, overcooked. Neither Nick, come on, yes, chef, nor Brendan could handle the fish station. It's raw. That salmon was so raw, he was still swimming. And were ejected from the kitchen. You and you fuck off. The loss had Millie fuming at Brendan. Every time I say something uh, to you, you suck against me, and you can't even burn. What the fuck, man? Leading the men to nominate Brendan. And our second nominee is Nick Chef. Chef Ramsay eliminated. Brendan. Ending his chance of becoming head chef at Caesars Atlantic City. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now get out of here. Ladies, good night, well done. Josh. Yes, Chef. Holy shit. What in the fuck happened tonight? Drop the ball, Chef. There's no excuses, Chef. I have to bounce back. Here's the thing. It is not a sign of weakness to ask for help. Yes, Chef. Open up. Get a grip. Thank you, Chef. Chef Ramsey wants me to bounce back. He wants my best. There's no way I'm gonna let him down again. I can't. You promised him. Don't you lie to Chef Ramsey. You promised him. I am hungry. Where is Josh? <sighs> this is yours. This is yours. I don't want people to think I'm a psycho, but uh, I talk to myself. Don't you disappoint him. You know, I just tell myself that I got it. He promised. Now's the time where I have to unleash the beast. Let's go. Josh wasn't going to eat tonight? What is going on? Yeah. I don't know. Josh is a monster. I'm worried about him, like, seriously. Come on, you've got this. This is yours. You're still here. Let's go. Good talk. Both teams start the new day fresh. OK, guys, come on. Hustle, hustle. Knowing it is critical to make the most of every opportunity to impress Chef Ramsay. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Chef. Chef. I've been very fortunate to travel extensively across the world. And every time I go somewhere new, I'm always picking up new ideas. One of the places that I really enjoyed visiting is a country that's been at the forefront of philosophy, art, architecture, and even cuisine. The country that I'm talking about is Greece. <laughs> Dance 
dancers. Every year growing up, we would always go to the Greek festival. So fun. I wanted to go out and join them. Look at their shoes. Work it. <laughs> Not really my style. You know, I'll leave my shoulder to shoulder dancing at bar mitzvahs when I'm doing the horror with my family. Yeah, I'm not into that Greek dancing. If there would have been some Miami booty shaking music, maybe that would have been a different story. One day, brilliant. Great job. Right, Millie, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Up there, Joe. Yeah. Now, for today's challenge. I want to see how creative you can be with Greek food. The chef, I've never been to Greece. I've never eaten Greek food. Is this all new to me? So, each of you will be assigned a stunning protein, typical in Greek cuisine. As you can see, there are six domes in front of you. I'd like one member from the red team and one member from the blue team to stand behind each of the six domes. The person that you'll be standing alongside from the opposite team is the person that you'll be doing battle with in this challenge. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Go to a dome. Now. Megan is the best person on the red team. We've been going head to head since the first signature dish. The dish is stunning. Thank you. Definitely uh, a five for five. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Megan, good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, great job. If I want to be the best, I go against the best. So here we go, once again. So let's get this right. Joshua and Allison, pair number one, lift your dome. Wow. Oh, nice. Awesome. You have a stunning lamb. Michelle and Brett. You ready? Off you go. go. Ahead. Prawns. Wow. Hell yeah, prawns, yo. I got this shit. There ain't no way Michelle gonna outcook me on this dish. Millie, Megan. Squid. squid. Delicious squid. Nice. So after seeing the squid, I, I kind of got spooked a little bit because I've never seen it before. T and Randy. Now what the hell we're going to get? Chicken. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get squid. <laughs> Woo! Sarah and Nick. Swordfish, Swordfish chef. chef. Adam and Christine. Ooh, pork. All right. Good. Now, there's a Greek tradition of smashing plates called kefi. And today, You'll be smashing plates in the dining room to get your ingredients. Oh! <laughs> OK. Smash plates with these crazy motherfuckers? Andy and James, please. OK. Let me show you how it's done. Plates. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> We're really doing this? Now, my ingredient is delicious Greek olives. You'll run it to your team's board and then you place that next to your protein. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Your seven minutes starts now. Let's go. Let's go, Josh. Let's go, oh. Josh. Ah! Oh, damn. That sucks. Oranges, are you kidding me? What am I going to do with orange and lamb? It doesn't sound Greek at all. Time's going go, fast. Sir. Oh, my god. Uh -oh. She's scary. Wow. Sweet potatoes. Oh, Brett. Green feta. When I got feta cheese, I was stoked. I knew right away what I was going to. Let's go, Brad. There you go, Brad. Come on, Michelle. Come on, Michelle. Come on, Michelle. Quickly. OK. Harder. 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 Come on, Michelle. I got it. I got it. It won't bug you. Kiwi. Kiwi. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Randy. Couscous. Couscous. Go out. Get it. Get it. Get it. Run, 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 run. Olives, nice. Pistachios, let's go. Go, Michelle, go. Going, going, going. As I was grabbing these plates and smashing them, eggplant! I had no idea what the fuck I was going to do because nothing went together at all. You I don't want any of mine. 90 seconds to go. Go, Nick. I'm not even looking at what the ingredients are. I'm just smashing plates. <laughs> I'm going up. I'm going up. I feel like the Hulk. Josh, smash. <laughs> Come on, T. Watermelon. Come on. Five. Four, snip. three, Turn up. two, one, time out. Woo! Nice job, girls. Man, you guys made a mess. Red team, blue team, you got 40 minutes to create a stunning Greek dish. Your 40 minutes starts now. Let's go. In this challenge, the chefs have just 40 minutes to use the protein they've randomly selected to create a delicious dish inspired by Greek cuisine. Where's my squash? Double cream. While the chefs may use only the ingredients they put on their board, determine which ingredients suits your dish. Yes, chef. They do not have to use all of them. Randy, what do you got going on? I'm trying to figure it out. I just tried to put stuff together out. 
how I would want it. I didn't necessarily know how the Greeks would want it. I just put it how Randy would want it. Dude, you are out of control, Randy. I, need, I can't work next to him. He's a mess. Just under 25 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. yes chef. Hello, guys. I got some really weird ingredients. Like, I got eggplant, frisé, kiwi. Kiwis are making my hands itchy. I really don't think eggplant goes well with prawns, so I'm definitely dropping the eggplant, of course. Some nice kiwi. Last 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes? That's right. Thank you, chef. So far, so good. I mean, uh, I'm getting everything together. Lamb's in. I'm running out of time, but I, I think I can pull this one off. How's everybody feeling, yo? Good. How you doing, Josh? Just pouring out my heart and soul, that's all. Two and a half minutes to go. Stop plating. Come on, Josh. How the shit? My lamb is just about to be finished. I think I have a minute left. 30 seconds to go. Damn, I need a minute to let my meat rest. I don't think it's done. If my meat doesn't rest, it's going to bleed out all over my plate. Come on, guys. Let's go. Five. Four, come on, come on, come on, come on. three, Sexy two, one, Fuck. and serve, guys. Well done. Now, I will not be judging your dishes alone. I'm inviting a very special guest. He just literally arrived from New York City last night. Michelin star chef and owner of the restaurant Kefi, which serves some of the most delicious Greek food. Please welcome Michael Silakis. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Michelin star chef Michael Cialakis, best of the best when it comes to Greek food, kind of humbled me just a little bit. Let's start off with the battle of the lamb, please. Let's go. Come on, Alex. The chefs will be judged by both Chef Ramsay and Chef Cialakis. They will each award a score from one to five, with five being excellent. The chefs will be scored on the creativity and the authenticity of their Greek dishes. Chef, I have a tahini marinated lamb and a filling of Greek yogurt. Uh, visually, it's got impact. It does, but it's just a tad overcooked to me. What a shame. If you were to score that out of five, what would you give it? I'm going to say three. Yes, Jeff, thank you. I'm going to give it a three. Yeah. Middle of the road, what a shame. Uh, Josh, please. So I have a uh, seared lamb with a uh, tricolored couscous, candied orange, and apple. What is the liquid? That is blood, Chef. Hell no. It looked like a... Uh... You know, lamb blood soup. Was that done on purpose? No, chef, it was not. I mean, the lamb hasn't rested properly. It looks like a dog's chewed it. It's a mess. I wouldn't serve this dish. This is a, this is a one. A one. One as well. I'm in a slump right now. It's uh, two not great performances in a row. Six to two. I'm just going to have to step it up if I want to stay here. Uh, next up, prawns. Please, give me some delight. With the men already trailing by four points, Brett hopes to bring his team back with his Greek-styled grilled prawns. To be honest with you, it was yeah. a wonderful dish. Thank you. Um, cook beautifully. I'm going to say four. Thank four. you. Uh, I agree. Well done. Uh, eight out of ten. Uh, Michelle. And now Michelle hopes that her unusual combination of ingredients will come together to wow the judges. Something really weird about frizz and cream. I mean, this is it's just not Greek. Have you ever seen a, a kiwi in Greece before? No, chef. No. I didn't think so. No. Uh, chef. That's a one for sure. A one. I'm going to give it a two. Thank you. Kiwi and frisé. Your plan was doomed from the start, Michelle. Great. Uh, great job there. Routine pulled it back 10 to 9. Sexy. Our team is now back in the game. With the women trailing by one point. Battle of the squid. Megan presents her squid with a walnut puree. And this is really Greek food on a different level. Yeah. Thank you. And it's fragrant. That's a solid four. I'm going to give it a five. Thank you. Wow. Great job. But Millie hopes his squid with sweet potato will be the one that finally defeats Megan. It just misses. I'm going to say three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to join you. Three. Uh, Megan, great job. Again, I keep losing to Megan. Megan, you better watch out. If we get another chance, I'm coming right for you. Next up, butter the chicken. Let's go. Next up, it's T and Randy. T has prepared kale stuffed chicken served on a sweet potato hash. Uh, it's stuffed nicely. This is really well executed. Score, chef. How would you? I'm going to say this is a solid four. Nine, four. Thank you. Uh, three. Three out of five. Good job. For his first ever Greek dish, Randy has made pan seared chicken with eggplant and new potatoes. I am a little nervous. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out, please. Um, yeah, I don't think you can get any more Greek than this on yeah. a plate. I just keep tasting home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I keep tasting. Delicious. Yeah. Chef, let's go. That's a five. Thank you, Chef. 
five. Yes! Yeah, yeah, Thank you, buddy. Chef. That means a lot. Woo! Nice job. Who buddy. is this guy? Country bumpkin ass Randy killing it. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. It's now 26 to the men, 25 to the ladies. With the men back on top. Uh, let's go back to the pork. Christine offers up a pork kebab with grapes and fig sauce. It's almost like my mother made this. Delicious. Impressing both judges. I'm going to say four. Four as well. Great job. Thanks, Christine. Adam's seared pork with basmati rice. I think that's one of the best dishes you've cooked so far in this competition. Thank you so much. Also impresses. I got to give you a five, man. Yes. Thank you, chef. Five. Yes. yes. Great job. Thank it's you, really chef. Really a great job. Uh, two very good dishes. Well Thank done. you, chefs. Good job, man. Helping the men to maintain their lead going into the final round. 36, 33. Last one. Come on, Nick. Now it all comes down to Nick, Sarah, and their Greek take on swordfish. It's all up to me at this point. If I lose this, I would let my team down so much. It's a lot of pressure. Sarah, describe your dish. Um, it has Romano and garbanzo beans with feta and capers. It really looks beautiful. But the swordfish, I think, really is under-seasoned. I was expecting more. Okay. I'm going to say three here. Yeah. Visually, I, I like that level of finesse. Um, four. Thanks, four out of five. Good. Uh, Nick. We're only down by four. Nick's the last one to go. He's got to pull this one out for us. I have a grilled swordfish that I marinated in fresh oregano, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. This immediately brings me to home. But it, truthfully, unfortunately, is just way over. My heart drops in my scrotum when I'm losing this fucking challenge. Uh, I'll give it a two, because it's not catastrophe, but it's not good. Tough decision. I'm sweating in places I shouldn't be sweating. We can't lose this competition. Um, I'm going to say three. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 We nailed it as a team. We're getting up out this motherfucking house. All of you join me in thanking this amazing chef uh, for coming away from New York. That's what she sent you back. Good luck, man. Thank you so much, chef. Blue team, you got the most amazing opportunity to blow off some steam whilst burning rubber as you race head to head at a high performance go kart <laughs> racing track. Why is that so weird? I don't know what he's doing. You're going to be pulling in some serious G's. Hosting your high octane afternoon will be the beautiful Miss California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Have fun to get out of there. Well Thank done, you, chef. Thank you. Good girls. job. Woo, woo. Ladies, you are all in for a wretched day. So, uh, carefully lift up all these broken plates. Watch your fingers, please. We need them tonight. Yes, yes chef. After that, clean up both kitchens ahead of tonight's service. That's right. We're open for dinner tonight. Off you go. Man, that blows. Let's do it, boys. Gentlemen, start your engine. I'm going to smoke these guys, or at least, you know, bump them trying. Get set, go. <laughs> Goodbye, Brett. <laughs> Goodbye, Nick. <laughs> See you, Millie. I feel like I'm going to win because of Miss California. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Watch out, man. Woo. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks, Miss California, for distracting Josh. Finally, Randy is getting a chance to win. Congratulations, Randy. You won. Thank you. First place. Randy. Randy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess if it was bumper cars, I would have got first place. <laughs> we need a vacuum for the small shards. Where is the vacuum? Do we know? It's right there. Where are the outlets? Do we know where that? Outlets? Outlets? Where are the outlets? Do we know? Just look. I mean, figure it out. Guys, where's the outlet? Where's the outlet? Guys, seriously, where are the outlets? I mean, my guess is you know this is just as good as We're yours. We're fucking hiding them from you. Huh. I can't find the outlet. Why? Why didn't you guys know where the outlet is? We fucking don't know either. Fucking open your goddamn eyes and look for it, Sarah. Anybody know where the outlets are? Why won't somebody help me find the fucking outlet? 
Here, here's an outlet. Oh my God. Right here. Hello. I saw it. Do we have an extension? Oh my God. Holy shit. Anybody? After a high octane day at the racetrack. Randy, how you feeling, brother? Another MVP performance in you tonight? Yep, let's Hell rock yeah. it, man. The men are fired up for dinner service. You good? Hell yeah. Feeling oh, pumped. Yeah. How about you? Oh yeah. Love it. Rock out. While the women are determined to bounce back from a tough challenge loss. Uh Millie. Yes, sir. Two seconds. I don't know what's gonna happen right now. You get caught into the pantry, you know what's coming. A bunch of disappointment. I don't want you getting yourself down. We lose a challenge, you have to bounce back. Do you understand? I yes. don't know why, but you seem a little bit hesitant. You okay? Um, what's on your mind? I just need so much more experience. <laughs> That's it. You underestimate yourself. You can cook. Yes, chef. You put up some bloody good food. Yes, chef and you're a fast learner. Believe in it a little bit. Yes, I don't sir. know why, but it's starting to disappear. I need to see it back. I gotta forget what happened before and I gotta focus on what's going on now. Got it? Yes. Good. Thank Let's you. Let's go. Chef Ramsey is expecting a lot out of me. I can't let him down, you know, I can't let myself down. So, you know, it's go time. Let's go. Mourinho. Yes, Chef. Open out the kitchen, please. Subito. As Hell's Kitchen fills with customers expecting a world-class dining experience. Can I get the scallop? Every chef in the kitchen is feeling the pressure to perform. Here we go, ladies. Four covers, table 50. One special appetizer, table side. Two risotto. Start the risotto. One Greek salad. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Tonight, in addition to the regular menu, Chef Ramsay has added a special seared octopus appetizer to be served table side by Josh for the blue team and Michelle. Hi, ladies. For the red team. Let's go, four covers, table one, yes? One special app, table side, one result of two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, guys, yes? Yeah. Come on, fellas, come on, fellas. Three minutes on the two scallops. How long, Nick? Three minutes, three minutes, Adam. I think right now the blue team is unstoppable. We won today's challenge, and we're gonna have a really good dinner service. The red team is in trouble. Right behind you, Chef. Hot, hot, thank you. Very nice, that risotto. Service, please. Scallops. Okay. Scallops. Good, let's go. We on a roll, let's go. Woohoo! Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much, my pleasure. Enjoy, thank you so much. Walk lobster tail? Yes, walking with lobster tail right. right now. Go, please. Go, 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 go. The blue team, led by Nick on the appetizer station, is off to an impressive start. Keep it going, Nick, yeah? yeah. Keep it going. Yes, chef. yes, chef. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. How long tea? Tea on appetizers. Chef, up in 30 seconds, chef. Is doing her best to get the women off to a strong start as well. Right behind you, chef. Very nice, that risotto. Yes, chef. Lobster, please. Yes, chef. Lobsters. All of you, come here. Yeah, all of you. That's you as well, Sarah. Just touch it. It's just ice cold. Ice cold. Ice cold lobster. Now, come on, Alison. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. First ticket. This is not happening. Alison. Yes, chef. It's the first table. Yes, chef. They're not warm. They're ice cold. Yes, chef. How could I send out a piece of cold lobster for the risotto? That was just stupid. Lobsters. Lobster, chef. Alison. Uh, ladies. Yes, chef. Look at the color of my lobster. Ooh. And it's just, just smell that. This is amateur, amateur cooking. And they taste like being fried in butter. What have you done? Stay there. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, my god. Oh, shit. Shit. You burnt the butter. Look at the lobster. You burnt the butter. I saw the butter and I knew it was burnt. That's a stupid mistake. Like, I should have just redid the butter and keep it moving. Give me a couple more minutes. No red team. Fuck me. Al, do you need my help? I'm good. You're good? All right. First, the lobster was cold and now it's burnt butter. That's some shit that Allison knows better. Yes, right behind you. Allison, come on. When you see somebody that is weaker, you push them. Come on. I'm just going to take charge. Obviously, my team needs me to be a leader, so I'm going to be a leader. Service, please. So good. <laughs> Worth the wait. 
It's just over 30 minutes into dinner service. And thanks to Nick and Brett on appetizers. Let me know when those Wellington are out, please, yes? Yes, sir. I have two out. The men have moved on to their first entrees of the night. OK, walking Wellington garnish. To Wellington. Yeah, it's, like liquid. it's like liquid fucking mash. Yeah. I'm not going to have it, James. Three, three minutes. Hey, three minutes. No, no, just stop. I've got, like, a liquid mash now. Look at it when it's on the plate. I know sauces that are thicker than that. That's soup, chef. That is soup. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Hurry up. I need Wellington garnish in the window right now. Hurry up. Die. Right now. What's going on? I didn't make the mash. Who made the mash? I don't know. So who put the cream in there? I don't know, chef. So you got no idea? I did not. I need to know who put the cream in there. I don't know, chef. You don't know? I don't know. What about asking your fucking team then? Communicating with them. I agree. They were like Apart from that, you gotta fucking, you gotta talk I gotta, a little bit, yes? Yes, chef. OK, I'm back. I got it. Hey, hey, blue team. Yes, chef. Who yes, put chef. the cream in the mashed potatoes? The truth. Who put the cream in the mash? Who put the fucking cream in the mashed potatoes? Did you put the cream in the mashed potatoes? I potato? did. They in were dope. In the little pot. You didn't do it. Who put the cream in the mash? I didn't put the cream in the mash. Who put the cream in the mash? It's an easy question. What the fuck is going on here? OK, I'm ready for garnish. Obviously, Randy put cream in the mashed potatoes. He's just got to step up, because it ain't no ghost in Hell's Kitchen. Here's the issue. I don't care to put the fucking cream in. I just don't want it. Yes, yeah, chef. While the blue team is busy sinking in a creamy mashed potato controversy. I'm going to walk garnish in one minute. The red team has been steadily sending appetizers out to their diners. I'd say that the risotto was my favorite so far. Well, Brazina, one lamb, yes? Yes, chef. Up now. And now Christine is bringing her garnish to the pass for the red team's first entrees. Come on, come yes, on. Chef. Yes, chef. Fucking hell. Unreal. Hey, you, 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 come here. I've got burnt, stuck to the bottom of the pan, fucking burnt. But just taste that. You need to taste that mush. It's like baby food. It's mush. What are you doing, Christine? Sorry, Chef. Garnish should literally take two minutes to the pass. Eggplant, come now, Chef. You're basically a human microwave. You're reheating food that's already cooked. I've got raw eggplant, oh bitter, undercooked, and solid. That's raw. That's raw. Sorry, chef. Put them on the grill. Put them on the grill. Her. While Megan takes control from Christine on the garnish station. You're staring at the wall. Work it. Back in the blue kitchen. Randy. Yes, chef. That's better. Randy's potatoes are now up to Chef Ramsay's standards, and the blue team is pushing entrees out of the kitchen once again. On order, four covers table 12, entree. Two Branzino, two Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Walking garnish, one minute. Ah, I was moving too fast, you know, and I didn't recognize what end of the Wellington was closed. So you're supposed to cut it on the closed part of the pastries. We good, Millie? Can I walk garnish? For Wellington, Jeff. OK, I'm walking garnish right now. Very good. Oh, fucking hell. I, just, I, I give up. I fucking give up. Come over here. Yeah, that's you, Millie. Come here. Come here, Jeff. What is wrong with that? It's cut, cut the wrong way. Cut the wrong way? It's a very noticeable mistake. Millie's usually on point with that kind of stuff. I know Millie's better than that, so what the fuck is going on? That's just embarrassing. I've got two wedges, like doorsteps. I we are making double. such basic errors tonight, and I don't understand why. And you know the issues. Yes, chef. I didn't know that I was going to get it sent back just for it being cut wrong. I have one more sitting right here, and I'll be ready to go. I got another Wellington. Hurry up! Yeah. Yes, chef. As Millie rushes to cut another Wellington, hopefully this time the right way, back in the red kitchen, Megan. Stir it, make it hot, put a little bit of stock in there, please. Continues to drive Christine on garnish, and entrees are making their way out of the kitchen. Entree, one lamb, two Wellington, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Now Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Sarah on the meat station. Coming now, Chef, coming now. Wellington and lamb. One second. That's just undercooked. It's, you know, four or five minutes off. Lamb's overcooked. Just, just stop. Come here. So does anyone know what I'm, uh, Megan, please? Hot pan, hot pan. Does anyone, please? Fuck off in the dining room, you. Yes, chef. The Wellington are undercooked, that's raw in the middle, and the lamb is overcooked. Sarah, you should have learned how to cook before you got here. 
back in the oven and a fresh layer. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. yes, chef. While Sarah is looking lost on the meat station, out in the dining room, the blue diners are at no loss for words. This is probably the best beef ever. Like Wellington? Yes. And the men are hoping to continue their strong service with... Entree, two branzino, two chicken. Yes, yes chef. chef. Minute and 10 seconds on branzino, OK? Heard. Minute and 10, thank you. For me, anything? No, I'm good, Nick. I'm okay. good. I've been wanting Fish Station for a while. I haven't done it since their first dinner service. It was a disaster. Branzino looking beautiful. Whenever you're ready to go, give me a yell, I'll walk it, OK? We're going to meet with the Branzino. Thank you, Millie. Pleasure doing business with you, baby. I'm loving the Branzino. It's just going to come down to me executing it. Branzino. Branzino and lemon. Very hot pan. If you can just try, I, yes, chef. I, I just work your fucking balls off and just, just try. I'm sorry, chef. No, but look. So, visually, what's wrong with that? It didn't get Visually, it didn't get kissed on the other side. No, but not kissed on the other fucking side. I'll give you a fucking. Hey, what is wrong with that? Too much Visually, oil. Too, oil too much oil on the pan. He pen. still hasn't got it. Two different sides. Too much oil. Too Look much at oil. the fucking oil, oil in there. Sorry, Sorry chef. chef. It's swimming in it. A fire fresh. Just on start it. again. Absolutely, right, chef. Right, right, what the lamb. fuck are you doing? Lamb. Just careless. I apologize. Come on. While Adam refires his Branzino. It's all right. We'll pick it back up. We'll pick it back up. Over in the red kitchen, T has jumped onto the meat station to help Sarah recover from her lamb and Wellington misfires. Go ahead, slice the lamb. No, why? You, you told me to cut the No, tail. they're raw, they're raw. You cut them and you see they're raw, you have to put them back into the oven. You don't keep cutting them, Sarah. Common fucking sense. Sarah, no one trusts you because we cannot leave you on a fucking station and expect you to hold your own. Two chicken, two lamb, how long? Two minutes, chef. But you sliced everything. It was miscommunication, chef. Oh, fucking hell. Sarah buried us. Four bronzino and two chicken. Are you going to be ready on two chicken? They're right here. Another two chicken. It's a followed by, yes? You guys have two chicken and two lamb ready to go when I say yes? Yes. yes. All right, go. Lamp garnish. In the window. Right here, right here. What the fuck is this? Oh, God. Ladies, come here. All of you. Stop. Yeah, stop. What is happening? I swear to God, this is a joke. Just taste that. Taste that in there. What's the first thing that hits your mind? Too much garlic. Just garlic. That's the lamb that sliced because you weren't ready. It's already oxidized. And look how stringy that chicken is. When you got Sarah, who doesn't know what she's doing, and Christine, who's in mid-meltdown phase, it's like the fucking headless horseman. Where's my head? Where's, where's my head? Come here, all of you. Come here. They're firing that. That's their last table. And look, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables to go. I'm so embarrassed. Get out. Uh. Get out. You lost. Hey, think about it. Two individuals up for a nomination. And by the way, blue team will finish off. It's not fun to work with people who hate you. It just royally sucks. Blue team. Into the red kitchen now. I'm oh, sorry, chef. Into the red kitchen. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Go, go, go. When Chef Ramsey says, go invade the red kitchen, right. seven minutes on these two Wellingtons. Boom. That's, That's what we do. Good. We go invade the red kitchen. It's like invade Normandy. 10 salmon all day. 10 Heard salmon it. all day. I got six in the oven already. Heard two ramps, two chicken. Six salmon in the oven. Four minutes. Come on, boys. Bronzino walking up. Good job, boys. This was the first time that one team had to finish the other team's dinner service. Nick, good job. Adam, good, good job. Good job, guys. You know, every service, we're getting better. Service, please. The moment of truth. Yeah. Oh, my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was good. <laughs> good job, Adam. Thank you, boys. Nice job, everybody. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, clean down. All right, what do we want to do? I mean, do you have something to say, Sarah? I know, obviously, service is a downfall. So it's called Hell's Kitchen. Emphasize on the kitchen part. Meat tonight was a clusterfuck. I don't understand. There was, like, no organization. It's like you forgot how to fucking cook food. Damn it, I know what I'm doing. I trained in France, but I'm going to fight in front of Chef Ramsay. 
I do not want to go home. It wasn't just meat. Christine, garnish should only take two minutes in a professional kitchen. It takes two fucking minutes, and you should always have something ready. So the risottos got restarted because the lobster tails were bad? Allison's lobster was overcooked. Did I affect you didn't service? Talk. You didn't talk. You needed to talk. This was Christine's second time on garnish. I said to her, you got it, right? I'm going to come unicondo with you. I said it before service started. But once you see that somebody is floundering, you have to just go, OK. OK, get the fuck out of the way. I got this. That's the way it works. Christine doesn't have that assertive voice. Like, Christine gets overwhelmed. What's your vote? I don't need to hear all this. Embarrassing. Megan, Red Team's first nominee, and why? We nominated Sarah. She shut down. I don't think that she can step up. I don't think she can hang. Second nominee, and why? Um, Christine Chef. We feel that the garnish station, from start to finish, should take two minutes, and they should always be prepared and ready to go. You're absolutely right. Sarah and Christine, step forward, please. Christine, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? My last service, I think I showed a great improvement. I really think that I've been growing and learning a lot here, and I think that I've shown I do have a voice, and I am a leader, and I do have confidence. The garnish for the lamb was just stinking of garlic. How does that happen? I was an oversight chef. I'm sorry. I I should have I should have tasted it. Sarah, you sank yourself. You took your team down with you, and you refuse to ask for help. Where's this proudness coming from? It's not a proudness, chef. I mean, I was trying to ask for help earlier today, and so you ignored. Absolutely, chef. Who ignored you? I need to know. The entire team. I mean, when we were cleaning up the glass today, I was asking for help, you know, looking for outlets, and everybody was just like, oh, whatever. My team hates me, chef. Do you think you could cook better in the men's team? I know I can cook better with the men. You think you'll do better cooking with a blue jacket? Yes, chef. This is really difficult. Two dreadful performances. My decision is... Sarah, take off your jacket. Sarah, I'm not feeling it. I haven't got time. Thank you. Good night. It's hard to cook in a situation where people just don't care about you. These women didn't have my back, and I didn't stand up for myself enough. This was the opportunity of a lifetime, and I blew it. Performance speaks for itself, and I wasn't able to step up. I don't get it. Figure out what went wrong, and who in the hell is going to pick up the reins and drive their team to victory? Because the next time you put in a performance like this, there'll be more than one of you leaving. Get out of it. Overall, red team, without Sarah, we're in better shape. But the competition is getting fiercer. It's step up to the plate or step out. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, leading my team and fucking cooking. Individually, I'm shining. I have a phenomenal chance of winning this fucking competition. I feel like my team underestimates me, but I don't really care what other people think at this point. I'm here to win, and that's it. Sarah kept telling me she was here to learn. Unfortunately for her, I'm not looking for learners. I'm looking for leaders.
next time on Hell's Kitchen. What is going on? One of these 10 chefs will make one of the most shocking exits. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. In Hell's Kitchen history. Whoa. That's something you see in a horror movie. Will it be the chef who loses his faith? What the fuck is this? Why you gotta do this to me? Or the chef who loses her cool? Just do what you do, Alice. I don't give a fuck. There's nowhere for me to go at this point. Or will it be the chef who drives Chef Ramsay to his breaking point? I'm not accepting that. Why and how is this happening right now? What the fuck is going on? Tune in next time to find out. This has been the worst performance. The stage for hand-holding is over. On a scandalous. I'm gonna blame him. I'm gonna blame him. I'm gonna blame him. And star-studded episode. Take a look at our guests. They deserve that. No chef. Of Hell's Kitchen.